Mobile T here with JoeAnybody.com. I'm down here once again at the Multnomah Building in Southeast Portland, where uh, once again uh, protesters have arranged to meet with Sheriff Daniel Staten, who uh, came out last week with a statement on Monday saying that he will address the issue of the ice holds, which uh, these protesters are upset about since uh, the county is handling deportations for uh, federal authorities um, under this new law. Uh, the protesters uh, were here today. Uh, they were waiting for Sheriff Staten. Instead of Sheriff Staten coming out, a couple of representatives came out from his office and spoke with him and uh, said he does not have a definitive statement or answer at the moment. Uh, this uh, upset the protesters. Uh, they were gathered and remained until they got more of a response from the representatives and uh, they gave a final statement stating that they will be here protesting uh, continuously. We'll keep you updated with future developments on this story. And once again, this is Mobile T reporting with JoeAnybody.com. So I did, I, I did get a chance to talk to the sheriff. He feels like for today he's made his statements and, and he's received information. So some of the information he has is new or is newer than it was before. So he's going to have to consider that. He's actually talking to some folks about about that right now. So he's, so I'm what you're going to get today. He can't, um, he's not going to meet with you today. Um, because, like I said, he feels like he's already, you know, invested a couple hours in this conversation. He's got more information to consider. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, uh, I was thinking that uh, maybe uh, if you can share with the sheriff a little bit of the, 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 the message that we have and we brought today. Yes. Maybe if, so, I will invite people here to respond to what we just had. Just to let you know, everyone here, uh, we had a meeting. And that's what, what, uh -huh. what you're referring to. Uh, we had a meeting that uh, Jeff Cogan, the, the commissioner, uh, he, he made a very invitation by invitation meeting <coughs> to talk about, um, not necessarily ice hole, but he was to talk about uh, how uh, the, the policy, the DHS, which the Homeland Security and ICE, uh, that's affecting um, our county, our people, and how the prosecutorial discretion a memo that was uh, out by Morton, I think that a year and a half ago. Uh, how is that um, uh, affecting us? And also the, there was another thing that we talked about is the, there was in March, if you remember, uh, we passed a resolution in the county, and I'm saying we because we, we were working towards that too, uh, in order to ask ICE to enforce prosecutorial discretion. So we had a meeting, there was a lot of, um, uh, input from the different parts of the, the people in the, in the room, which were the community, the ACT network. Uh, there, there were representatives from different uh, faith uh, communities. Uh, there were representatives from the county, the different departments in the county. Uh, some from the city, a couple from the city, uh, Amanda Fritz was there. And also some of the staff from uh, the, 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 the legislators in Salem. Right, so that's that's the meeting that, and, and some of us were there. Um, so that's what the response that the, the, the sheriff is, is, is giving right now is that did everyone understand what 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 is Yeah. Ice holds are not mandatory by law, nationally, and so how else he needs to be proven? If he says he wants to follow the law, it's been proven that that's not the law. One of the ACT group organizers said we were involved in a dialogue meeting today that went about two hours. Mm -hmm. Crew's position, my position, the sheriff's position was very effective um, and we committed to, to staying in that dialogue. Mm -hmm. I think between the three of us what here, we got your message. Oh. Thank you very much. Uh, so you can't tell us back what you have. If you would like to yeah, get your written material. I, 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 so what I'm going to do for everyone to know is we're going to write it down, what, what we just said here. We have a video okay. there too. And we're going to share that with the sheriff. Okay. Yeah, last week, my dad was here meeting with the sheriff to talk about this issue. When they keep talking about, hey, let's come back, let's have dialogue, let's set up an agenda. Many members are being deported. And for us to be here and for him to not, you know, confront us or, you know, giving back his answer is so disrespectful. And I think at this point it's time to, you know, to take action. He knows the answer. He's just being a coward of not confronting the issue. We need to continue in this campaign and uh, not waiting until the holidays pa pass, you know, but we're going to continue doing uh, and organizing and coming and, and, and making the pressure, you know, to the sheriff.
And not just us, but the whole community. Jack Hogan said that if we came up with a proposal of like a criteria, you know, of when you would would or wouldn't come for ice hold, so maybe like, okay, a person is like caught for killing somebody, okay, maybe you can buy the ice hold, but A, B, C, to right, like if we make a very clear criteria, that the, that the commission would be open to looking at it and, and submitting it to the sheriff. You know, every Thursday the county commission has a meeting and they have uh, open communications where people from the public can come and testify and I think part of the pressure has got to be people going there every week mm -hmm. if they can. I mean, I'm not offering that. Do you know what time? Um, they meet at 930. I don't remember if the communication is at the beginning or the end, but um, you can call the county. You can check in at the front desk probably on mm -hmm. the way out and maybe even sign up for this week's um, thing. You might have to sign up a week ahead of time. We can use both. It's keys out there. Uh, to meet maybe Friday. Is that is that great? Friday and then we can plan yeah. Friday, six. Friday, this Friday at 6 p.m. And we're gonna send a, a, a call for this meeting, a reminder yes. to all of us. Mm -hmm. Thank you everyone here and we're gonna continue ahead, you know? No, 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 no,